As Africa's largest democracy prepares for its election, Nigeria faces two major crises, petrol scarcity and car shortage, sparked by the redesign of its higher denominations of its currency. These challenges have necessitated the chairman of the Electoral Commission meeting with critical stakeholders to ensure the smooth conduct of the poll. In line with tradition, the INEC chair briefs the Federal Executive Council on the level of preparedness for the general elections. He again reassures the voting public of the Commission's readiness, outlining measures taken to address the challenges that may affect the smooth conduct of the poll. The first one is availability of petroleum products. We had a meeting with the National Union of Road Transport Workers and they raised that as, a, as, as an issue of concern. Immediately after that meeting, we interfaced with the leadership of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. And right now, there's a technical committee working. The idea is for them to avail us the use of their over 900 land mega stations as well as floating mega stations nationwide for the purpose of stocking products to ensure that the commission doesn't suffer any encumbrances in movement of personnel and materials for the election. The second one is the currency issue. And again, we had an engagement yesterday with the governor of the central bank and he assured us that the commission will not suffer any encumbrances on that score. Fortunately for us, all our accounts, national and state, are held by the Apex Bank. So we raised those challenges, but we have found a solution to those challenges. So we rest assured that the election will hold as scheduled on the 25th of February for national and on the 11th of March for the state election. In a similar vein, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources promises the distribution challenges associated with the current fuel scarcity would not hinder the operations of the election. At the moment today, there is supply. Um, but unfortunately, uh, the distribution and movement of the product uh, to various destinations is now, uh, uh, we are experiencing some bottlenecks. And I, I want to assure you that everything is being done, the NMPC Limited, NMDPR way, all the marketers, Everybody's hand is on deck to ensure that this problem is resolved. Away from that, and with many Nigerians now paying between 200 naira and 650 naira for a litre of petrol, above the official pump price, the minister blames profiteers for the hike in petrol price. We have reports of uh, profiteering by marketers, and I've, had, I've directed NMDPRA to sanction anybody who profiteers uh, on this kind of situation. I mean, we cannot uh, stand by and watch our citizens being exploited by marketers. Meanwhile, the cabinet approved 117 billion naira for the construction of the Oloibiri Oil and Gas Museum and Research Center with a completion period of 30 months. It comes over six decades after oil was discovered in commercial quantity in the town. Also, the Ministry of Aviation got an approval for the maintenance and technical support for Malam Amino Kano Airport for the sum of 721 million naira.